If I may ask, what, to what extent are you guilty of funding the torture in Iraq? Well, it's about uh, 30 minutes before a Federal Reserve guy is supposed to appear. The president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, uh, here at St. Anselm's, Anselm's College in New Hampshire. Credit where credit is due, there's barely a cop or security person to be seen. When you consider how much power a Federal Reserve operative of that height uh, wields, you would think they'd get the same kind of treatment as a president in terms of security. But I'm uh, glad to see that he's unassuming enough not to have that. Now, it's a kind of a nice car going in there. Maybe that's him arriving, I don't know. It does look like a, a, you know, kind of an entourage getting out there. I've seen his picture, but I don't think I will recognize him if, if I do see him. Yeah, I guess that's not him. Now, it looks like the police are coming, but they're not. That's the free keeners there, I think. And, uh, purchased a police car. Okay, whoops. Looks like what's happened is we're here on the wrong day. I'm not really sure how it happened. Oh, but as you can see, we're here at the right place. <laughs> So, because uh, I guess that's where he'll be pulling up tomorrow. I don't know who that is. Um, if I may, if I may ask, there's a demonstration, and then there's a Federal Reserve guy. You're going to see the Federal Reserve guy, but I guess you're not hanging out with the demonstrators. Are you taking sides? What are they demonstrating? Well, they're demonstrating against the, the Federal Reserve and its, its funding of the overseas wars and so forth. The Federal Reserve is a private organization, and people, you know, they're against they're against capitalism. But have have them uh, move to Korea. They're against capitalism too. All right. Thanks much. Take care. All right. Hey, Dr. Rosengren, if I may ask, what, to what extent are you guilty of funding the torture in Iraq? I'm not going to talk about Iraq. I work for the Federal Reserve. But doesn't the Federal Reserve make that possible? I have a picture here of a 14-year-old girl that was tortured to death by your forces over there. Do you have any regrets? What's your opinion of legal tender laws and the fact that they force people to use a currency that they would not otherwise use? Thanks for being accessible. Do you own gold or silver? So this is the picture I was carrying. Uh, this is uh, Abir Hamza. This was taken long before she was 14. Oh, I guess because people in Iraq are so poor because they're being bombed all the time that they can't take a lot of pictures of their kids. Anyway, she was tortured to death uh, by U.S. forces, I believe, when he was vice president. I'm not sure if he was vice president of the Boston uh, Federal Reserve uh, at that time. I think that's what his position was at the time. This was around 2006 or 2007 when this happened. I do want to make clear, I wasn't being sarcastic as he went in there and I said, thank you for being accessible. He was pretty accessible. I mean, there, there, were, there weren't people taking us down or trying to stop us from being here. I didn't think I would ever get a chance to talk to this guy, uh, and, and I did, so that, that's a start. So he gets props for that part. Oh, so the mountain is coming to Mohammed. Oh, it is a very small mountain at this point. I don't know how many protesters there are on the other side, though. Welcome. Taping. Thanks for coming. Yeah, just, you yeah. know, yeah. the first protester I've seen with a sign. That's <laughs> so. right. We need to know what they're doing with our money. They've lost 16 trillion a couple of years ago. It's our money. 
Well, according to one guy that's here for the event, if you don't like the Federal Reserve, you're an anti-capitalist and you need to move to Korea because we they don't like capitalism do over there either. Does that, he know? That's not true. Now, We're all for free markets. We just want to know what they're doing with our money. 16 private banks need to close them. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info, it's a great place for Bitcoins to go.